Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss uh, imaging of uh, obstructive jaundice. This is the schematic uh, diagram where we can see this is called bladder with multiple calculi, cystic duct, and uh, this is common bile duct, pancreatic duct, accessory pancreatic duct. And in this picture, you can see stone in the, the distal portion of the CBD. We see that uh, there are multiple reasons uh, causing obstruction of the CBD, which may be benign or malignant structures, which may be stones. And these are multiple causes written in this slide. Regarding assessment of um, CBD and intrahepatic biliary channels, we have two sets of the imaging modalities one are non-invasive imaging modalities which are ultrasound ct scan and mrcp and the other one is invasive modality which is basically ercp here we have an example of ultrasound you can see this is liver this black area is basically portal vein and this is CBD this is the area where we have measured CBD normally the range of normal diameter of the CBD would be between 3 mm to 7 mm this is an example where we can see dilated to intrahepatic and extrahepatic biliary channels now we have to see what is the cause here you can see this is stone in mid portion of the CBD with dilated proximal intrahepatic biliary channels. So with the help of ultrasound, we have assessed the cause of obstructive jaundice, which is stone in this example. Here we have uh, another example. We can see that uh, this is coronal image from CT scan and this is sagittal image from CT scan. Basically these are computerized tonal reformatting and this is sagittal computerized reformatting from axial volume. Here you can see that uh, dilated intrahepatic biliary channels, dilated CBD and this is stone in the distal portion of the CBD. Here you can see this is pancreas and this is duodenum. In sagittal images, you can see dilated CBD and its distal portion. Here we can see stone in it. So in these images, we have clearly confirmed the cause of obstruction, which is stone. These are axial images where we can see dilated intrahepatic bilby channels. These are dilated intrahepatic bilby channels. Here you can see common bile duct which is a bit dilated you can see liver IVC suprarenal glands pancreas aorta arc like calcification because of atherometer changes pancreas stomach there is contrast in the stomach here we see dilated CBD in the region of head of pancreas you can also appreciate in this image as well and just before entering duodenum there is small stone in distal portion of the CBD here you can see pink uh, right kidney left kidney superior mesenteric artery superior mesenteric vein small intestines in these images we have used two imaging modalities that is ct scan where we have assessed obstructive etiology because of stone here this is ultrasound and this one is ct scan so routine modality for the assessment of obstructive jaundice is ultrasonography while modality of choice is ct scan as you can clearly appreciate in these two examples now we have uh, second case of obstructive etiology this is ultrasound 
where we can see dilated distended gallbladder with echogenic sludge in it here you can see liver this is kidney and here you see this is a dilated portion of common bile duct and large mass is appreciated obstructing it again you can see a solid mass causing obstruction of common bile duct which is grossly dilated and here you can see hypoquake areas within liver suggesting mats so in this example we have used ultrasound to assess the cause of obstructive jaundice and we found that there is a mass leading to obstruction of biliary channel while previously we have seen stone let's move to another modality which is ct scan here you can see that this is a solid mass in the region of pancreas with associated distended gallbladder here we have used two modalities number one is uh, ultrasound while second modality is ct scan again we will say that ultrasound is routine modality while ct is the best modality before proceeding for intervention that is surgery in obstructive jaundice now we are proceeding toward ERCP examination here you can see this is endoscope passing through stomach into duodenum here this duodenum is cannulated while contrast will be given which will go into common bile duct and pancreatic duct and we will take x-ray through this region here you can see contrast outlines hepatic ducts and this is cbd pancreatic duct which is outlined by the contrast this is endoscope and you see this is gallbladder and common bile duct pancreatic duct you see the diameter can you compare it with the endoscope usually the diameter of cbd will be significantly less than this endoscopic diameter here we have uh, ERCP examination and you can see a filling defect in distal portion of dilated cbd so these are basically stones causing uh, obstruction another important feature which is associated with ERCP is that we can extract this stone and treat this patient so ERCP has two important roles number one it is it can be used as a diagnostic tool and number two we can manage the patient by extracting stone here we have another example where we can see this is endoscope and contrast outlines common bile duct there are multiple filling defects in common bile ducts suggesting multiple calculi this is a diagnostic component of the ERCP that we have seen multiple calculi another example where you can see this is a normal common bile duct and pancreatic duct contrast outline these areas including gallbladder and intrahepatic biliary channels here you can see this is endoscope and dilated common bile duct with multiple low density areas suggesting multiple calculi filling cbd causing obstruction this is an other example of uh, ERCP where we can see dilated uh, proximal CBD and there is abrupt cutoff and this abrupt cutoff is because of mass lesion so we will take biopsy from this area and we will remove obstruction by passing stent here you can see it was obstructed portion and we cannot see contrast in its distal portion 
while after passing stent there is free flow of the contrast through this region here we have an example of MRCT this is a non-invasive modality and uh, this is used for diagnostic purposes with the help of MRI we acquire we have acquired these images these bright areas are fluid filled gut loops and here you can see this bright area is common bile duct intrahepatic biliary channels here you can see pancreatic duct this one is gallbladder with multiple hypo intense areas suggesting stones in the gallbladder and there is another hypo intense focus in this little portion of common bile duct suggesting stone so with the help of mrcp we have diagnosed obstructive etiology in this patient which is stone another example of uh, mrcp you can see this is a dilated cbd and uh, hypo low signal intensity area in this in this little portion suggestive of stone here you can see this is aorta and ibc here you can see mrcp image and normal coronal t2 weighted mr sequence this portion is liver dilated cbd and duodenum this is stone in distal portion of common bile duct spleen stomach and here we can see mrcp image of this patient where all remaining viscerals are removed and we can only appreciate intrahepatic biliary channels and extrahepatic biliary channels this is pancreatic duct stomach duodenum and this biliary portion that is cbd and intrahepatic biliary channels are dilated and here you can see a filling defect in its distal portions suggesting stone now we have finished obstructive etiologies with the help of ultrasound with the help of ct scan and with the help of MRI and MRCP now we have few questions for class tests question number one two causes of obstructive jaundice question number two name one invasive imaging modality used not only for the diagnostic but also for therapeutic purposes Question number three, name three non-invasive imaging modalities for obstructive jaundice. Name the imaging modality with finding. We have to write the name of this uh, uh, test, whether it is X-ray, ultrasound, CT, or MRI. So we have to name the imaging modality, number one. And number two, what is finding? Again, we have to name the imaging modality and finding. Here, we have only required to name the imaging modality. Here, what is the name of imaging modality and what is the finding? Name imaging modality with finding. Name imaging modality with finding. Thank you so much.